On May 25, 2020, George Floyd died before our eyes as a police officer knelt on his neck for 9 minutes and 29 seconds on a street in Minneapolis. Had Narnella Frazier, then 17, not captured the murder on her cell phone and posted it to Facebook, Floyd would have been yet another black man to die in police custody, a statistic. Instead, George Floyd became a powerful symbol of persistent inequality and systemic injustice against black Americans and a wake-up call for all. The response was historic. From the scores of leaders making forceful statements every day about racial injustice to the $50 billion that you, as companies pledged, but not necessarily paid, to support black communities. To understand the complexities of where we stand as a nation, though, look no further than the racially motivated mass murder at a Buffalo grocery store on May 14. Instead of trying to capture the ever-shifting reality of being black in America, we decided that we wanted to hear from leaders in the community. Here are some of their reflections on the post-Floyd era. McKesson is executive director of Campaign Zero, which works with policymakers across the U.S. to reduce police violence. George Floyd's death really did reshape the conversation about police violence. I was in the streets in 2014, and we fought people for years to get them to believe that there was a problem. When George Floyd was killed, people just got it. Two years later, we've accomplished a lot. We've helped enact laws in 19 states around the use of force. Every single state now has restricted or banned no knock raids, we wrote those laws. We did the first repeal of the Law Enforcement Officer Bill of Rights in the country's history in Maryland. This work is not sexy, but it will save people's lives. We spent a lot of our time battling misinformation from police, who are trying to convince elected officials that our proposals make them less safe. Early on, policymakers stopped ceding ground to police. Over the past year, the uptick in crime hasn't helped our cause. I don't have any comment about the defund the police slogan. I don't see any win in commenting. I will say that part of our work as activists is not to be so arrogant as to believe that the only way to enter is the way we enter. I can enter from defund and it doesn't stress me out. Some people can't enter from defund. That doesn't mean that they don't love black people and don't care about our work. When I talk to my aunt, she's in Baltimore, where there's a lot of crime, I can't talk about defunding the police. Because she's not hearing me. And if she doesn't hear me, then I can't do any of my best work. Ralph is a Tony Award winning actress, best known for her roles on TV at Sabbath Elementary. Moesha, and Ray Donovan. When I entered the film industry as a teenager in the 1970s, I remember Sidney Poitier gifting me a makeup box with everything I'd need to do my makeup. 